I, I would really use it. Oh, we did it. Okay. Yay! All right, the meeting is back in order. And for the record, we now have coffee tomorrow. Uh, we are now on B.2.9 Universal Suffrage. It is on page 25, if I can read across, of your agendas. It has a debate time of six minutes. Um, six. Six. Uh, who made this motion? Mr. Oakes, as the maker of the motion, would you like to speak in favor? Uh, Ronald Oakes. Uh, when I was looking through the Constitution uh, in my attempt to make uh, what turned out to be the next motion that Dave McCarty and some other people made, I noticed the metaphorical barn door was open and fortunately the horse had let yet to leave and that the Constitution did not prevent a future Worldcon committee from violating sacred tradition and allowing a, the creation of a membership class that allowed people to attend the entire Worldcon but not vote for the Hugo Awards, site selection and participate in the business meeting. And this proposal, I believe, if I did my work correctly, is an attempt to prevent that from happening. And that is all I'm attempting to do, is close the barn door while the horse is still in it. Thank you. Is there anyone wishing to speak against the motion? S Mr. Walling. I have posted in a financial analysis of the various scenarios possible for breakdown of those memberships, and I believe the economics of the matter will make the World Con Committees not create such a membership. Is there anyone else wishing to speak in favor? Ms. Olson, please come to the microphone. I'm, con I'm concerned about the word sell because I know this particular convention gave away over 300 free memberships. I don't know how many of them included voting memberships. Uh, this is a concern of mine. Um, so I don't know if we should change sell to offer or, um, or how that could be handled in terms of people giving away free memberships, which include voting rights. So I throw that to the uh, people up here. Are, are you making a motion to amend? I don't think we have to rule on the particular wording, but if you're making a motion, we can vote on that. I don't know if we could make a motion to offer, to change sell to offer. You can definitely make that motion. Thank you. We I'd like to change uh, the word sell to provide. Is there a second? second. Yeah. Darcy Connedy. I believe the commentary explicitly states that, that it, they don't want to limit the avail availability of uh, the ability of the CONCOM to offer free memberships which do not include voting rights. Free memberships should not include voting rights, in my opinion. And so the commentary <laughs> does clarify that. And I, so that, I think it's that, that would, sorry, yes. But, so I'm, I'm, but I'm asking if, if someone who made the maker of the motion could clarify that that is in fact. This what, discussion, like asking, it does not go in the Constitution, so. You no, know, she was asking, she was, she was saying she the, wanted to change it to offer, but it sounded to me like what she was I actually mean, asking was whether I, a free I, membership I, would yeah. include voting rights. The, mm -hmm. the intention of the motion was to cover the regular purchased memberships, um, obviously memberships that allow full access to the convention, such as for our support people like our partner ASL and our tech support people, that they would normally not get voting memberships. Obviously free memberships, such as our guest of honor memberships, generally do come with voting memberships. 
I don't want to touch those. It would be the people in this room. We do not want people who would normally be in this room suddenly finding themselves without voting rights because they failed, checked the wrong box is what we're trying to prevent. Mr. Blog, for what purpose does the member rise? Did the speaker just now, uh, the speaker yield for a question? The speaker was not, did not have the floor. He was answering a question. Do we need to debate Ms. Olson's motion any further? Mr. Yellow, for what purpose does the member rise? That wasn't, uh, no, that's correct. The speaker previously was a speech against. I need a speech in favor of Ms. Olson's motion to change cell to provide. Mr. Cronengold? No, no, that wasn't. Is there any objection to calling the question on Ms. Olson's motion? Yes. Uh, all right. Who still wishes to speak? Okay. Every, there are multiple members still wishing to speak. All those in favor of calling Closing debate and calling the question on Ms. Olson's motion, or motion to amend, please raise your hands. All right, hands down. All those opposed? That's two I'm going to say the no's have it because it's yep. two thirds. All right, so I need a, a speech in favor of the motion. Ms. Kovar? We're not selling, uh, sorry, Elspeth Kovar. We're not selling. What we're doing is providing. You know, offering, you know, we offer memberships to our guests of honor. This would mean we're not giving our guests of honor, you know, free voting rights. You know, provide is a simple one word change and it clarifies what's going on. Spe Mr. Ms. Jones. Lenore Jones. Um, I just want to point out that the current uh, uh, motion does not, in fact, say anything about free memberships, uh, whether they should include or not. We have many free memberships for people such as our card operator, our ASL interpreters, press, etc that do not normally come with voting memberships. Uh, the amendment, as I see it, would force us to offer voting memberships to all of those people. Uh, I don't happen to think that's a good idea. Is there a speech in favor? <laughs> Debate need not be factual. I will remind. Is there a speech in favor? Of come to the microphone. Seth Breitbart. The motion, as it is worded, Sal, says that is available to persons of the age of majority. Does that mean to any person of the age of majority, or does that mean to the general public? Huh? Uh, the original motion says, no convention committee shall sell a membership that is available to persons of the age of majority. Does this mean it has to be available to anybody of the age of majority? Well, in that case, things like press memberships don't matter because they're not available to anybody. They're available to a few people. Yeah, I'm gonna mark that. I don't even know how to mark that. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. I think Kov you're over-interpreting that. Mr. Kowalczyk, for what purpose does the member rise? I'm going to say it's available to anyone. <laughs> Mr. Kamal, speak. I don't even. What are we on a speech in favor? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anyone wishing? I'm in favor of the amendment, which is against the original. Favor, yeah. Uh, uh, KJ, um, my thinking is that if a member of the press a um, camera operator, a cart operator, is a fan of science fiction and wants to vote in the Hugos, why not let them? Mr. Kowalczyk, a speech against? Sorry. So, um, R Rick Kowalczyk. Um, so, if a member of the uh, uh, press or camera operator wants to vote in the Hugos, they can buy a membership. They could buy a supporting membership. 
Uh, to Mr. Breitbart's part, which may or may not be germane to how some people are going to vote, um, so a convention could decide to offer AAA members